Hi friends, welcome to our YouTube channel all about materials and engineering. The name has it all. The channel will be providing informative and educational videos related to materials and engineering. The sole purpose of creating these videos is to give and explain the concept of engineering in a simple manner. So you understand it better and you can remember it easily. Please like and give your valuable comments about the videos. Don't forget to subscribe this channel and stay connected with us. In this video, we are going to see about effect of manganese in steel. Alloy steel. Steel is a combination of iron and carbon. Apart from this, it contains varying amount of other elements, principally manganese, phosphorus, sulfur, silicon, which are present in the trace amount. Steel is an alloy steel. If a definite amount of minimum of other alloying element is specified or required. The steel containing carbon alone may not possess the desired mechanical properties. Addition of the alloying element such as manganese, nickel, chromium, molybdenum, vanadium, tungsten, etc. individually or in a combinations help in attaining the ultimate properties and characteristics of particular steel. Now we will see the effects of alloying element in steel. Alloying elements are added to steel in small percentage usually less than 5 percentage to improve strength or hardenability. <coughs> alloying elements are added to steel in much more larger amount usually up to 20 percentage to produce special properties such as corrosion resistance or stability at high or low temperatures. Steel consists of two or more phases known as ferrite, austenite, carbide and graphite. The alloying elements in steel affects the stability of these phases. The relative amount of the phases and how the phases are distributed are dispersed throughout one another. Thus, the alloying elements affects the and controls the properties of steel. Manganese. Manganese is a chemical element with the symbol Mn and atomic number 25. It is not found as a free element in the nature. It is found in minerals and in a combination with iron. Manganese is essential to iron and steel production by which are of these properties like sulfur fixing, deoxidization and alloying. First recognized by the British metallurgist Robert Foster Mushat. In 1856, he introduced the element in the form of spagulation into steel for the specific purpose of removing excess dissolved oxygen, sulfur and phosphorus in order to improve the malleability of the steel. Magna alloy, also called as manganese steel or hard field steel, is an alloy steel containing an average of 13% of manganese. Magna alloy is also known for its high impact strength and resistance to abrasion once it is work or in state. Manganese is used in or most of the items for everyday use. It is used as a filler in the dry cell batteries of lithium anode. The cylindrical and button batteries that are used in digital cameras and small appliances. Everyone wondered how a drink can, can be so thin. It always helps to stiffen the aluminium soft drink cans. So less of it is needed to make a soft drink cans. 
It is also used in wall guides of automobile industries. Manganese is used to make clear glasses and it is also used as a black brown pigments in paints. Effects of manganese in steel. Manganese 0.25 percentage to 0.4 percentage combines with sulfur and with phosphorus to reduce the brittleness of the material. It also helps to remove excess oxygen from the molten metal during the manufacturing of steel. Manganese greater than 1 percentage increase hardenability by lowering the transformation points and causing transformation to be sluggish. It also increases the strength and hardness of the material and forms as a carbide. It lowers the critical temperature range and acts as an deoxidizer and desulfurizer during the manufacturing of steel. It also promotes an austenitic structure in the steel. There may be various purpose of alloying. The main purpose of alloying is to increase the mechanical properties such as strength, hardness, toughness and resistance to abrasion and wear. It is also used to improve the machinability, ductility and to enhance the grain size of the material. It is also used to achieve the electrical and magnetic properties of a material. Thanks for watching our video. Give your valuable comments on the comment section below which will enable us to improvise our videos to give good videos on engineering and material sections. Don't forget to subscribe and press, press the bell icon to stay connected with us. Thank you.